Hello, everyone. I'm Princess Raja Fantasia of the Kingdom of Asholia. <laughs> and this is my evil stepmother, Raven the Buttholicious. <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> Fashion Photo Review! <laughs> We are going to be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of season nine of... This week's theme was princesses. Imaginary fantasy princesses that the girls had to make up on their own along with a sidekick. You know, uh, Princess Ariel had... Uh, Sebastian and Flounder. Exactly. And uh, Cinderella had the mice and, you know, and, and so on and so forth. First up. Uh, Yes. Who are Who Ladies and gentlemen, we have Aja. Aja. As Disaster and a Sister. <laughs> she, if her name is Disaster and she's a princess of Disaster, then she is obviously displaying disastrous looks tonight. It doesn't give me princess. It is more of a superhero look, which, mm -hmm. you know, I feel is appealing to a lot of the younger generation. But if I were given a princess challenge, I would certainly kind of lean in a little bit more in that direction. Just kind of give it more of a fantasy feel to it. And this kind of just feels like 1990s club kid to me. For both Desista yeah. and for Disaster. And I think the whole look is just, the whole thing is a fucking disaster. Damn, son. I love the color. I love orange. I think the makeup looks great on Desista. Mm -hmm. Disaster, I can't really tell. Mm -hmm. uh, but like the big fur coat, Mm -hmm. It kind of like weighs it down. I would have just, I would have got rid of the coat and just had the bra top, the panties and the chaps. Yes. But you're right, it's a disaster. It's a disaster and I'm gonna give this a boot. Sorry, boop. Aja. Boot. Sorry, I booted. She's gonna text message me like right now. Who fucking cares? Hide my phone. Next we have Alexis Michelle of the Kingdom of the Subway. Hashtag Subway Fish and hashtag Subway Tadpole. Oh, so the hashtag is part of the name? Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. I do see a bit of a fairy tale reference to it. I think it has that kind of almost hocus pocus kind of feel to it. I don't know how the crabs work as far as like subway fish. Because um, they're aquatic. Okay, but I, I, okay. But the dress to me looks kind of like a trash bag belted. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which that could be great, mm -hmm. but with this look, it's kind of like I just don't—I don't feel this. I just don't understand how it all goes together. And for me, this is a boot. Yeah, it's not princessy at all. Next, we have Charlie Hides. I love this. As Isabel Snatchpacker. I and love it. Climaxica. That crown with all the stuff popping mm -hmm. through it, with the little bubbles, and like that to me is fantasy. It's fairy tale, and it definitely speaks of what Char Charlie Charlie has. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. The dress is wonderful. Yeah, I love that Isabel Isabel Snatch Packer seems mm -hmm. to be maybe like a little bug uh -huh. or a little bumblebee. Sure. And she's got the little whatever little that antennas. kind of like mirror mm -hmm. what Climaxica has. Precisely. And this is the first princess that we've seen with some sort of like a tiara or some sort of a, a nod to being royalty. Something magical. Yeah. Magical. And the, the gown's beautiful. The, it's gorgeous. I too. Too, 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 definitely. Next we have Cynthia Lee Fontaine as Cuculina e her sidekick, Booty Lee. So Cynthia Lee has a gimmick and she is gonna work that gimmick into the ground, girl. Donde esta la cucu? Uh, <laughs> Where's the cucu? Yeah. If you're gonna be cuculina, I would think that the, your costume would show off your cuculina. Right? Yeah. Okay. And the dress just kind of fits like... Cacalina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a gimmick, and at this point, if that's your tagline, honey, present it as such. It, this is a really adorable outfit. No. I don't think it is. It's fine. It it's does fine. not fit her body well. It When it gets to her waist, mm -hmm. it just kind of goes... Yeah, I mean... You know what I do love, love about this outfit is her hair. And yes. you know, I'm not one to like love that like, protruding, you know, I'm, I'm, I protest this loaf. all the time. Yeah, I don't love a loaf, but this is a very decorated loaf that feels a little bit more special and has a very interesting fashion quality to it. So the whole thing is just kind of like, mm. It's a boot. Yeah, it's a boot. Sorry, Cynthia. 
Pharamone. Pharamone. Bublina, the blowfish, and Pacifica. It's chintzy. It's like if you're going to be called Pacifica and you're the princess of the fucking ocean and you, you know, you're doing a runway on RuPaul's Drag Race, why wear an elongated ankle length pencil skirt in sequin and a bra? The wig is interesting. I like it. It kind of gives me the ocean, but really the entire thing is disappointing to me. I but, enjoy Bublina, the blowfish. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, th actually Bublina is more strong than Pacifica. Yes. I think she's not even Pacifica ocean. I think she's more like a, she's like more of like a lake. Dang. And it is a piece of fabric wrapped around her fucking waist. That's what that is. With some fucking starfish glued onto a bra. Mm. That had the same fabric glued on top. Boot. Boot. That's a boot. I think specifically she should have thought a little <laughs> bit better about this, but specifically I'm gonna give it a, a boot. Next up, Kimora Black. Kimora Black. As the banana lady and funky monkey. I don't get this. I mean, really? Uh, am I the, I'm a, I must be on my period today. Princess is not feeling it today. What, banana lady, bitch? You want to be banana lady when you're trying to be a princess? <laughs> and then you're going to be funky monkey? I'm sorry. Your sidekick is a monkey and just call him funky monkey? Uh, like, you couldn't think of anything else? But then she's got holding paper bananas. Like, the bananas are paper. Like, you're banana lady. Your name is banana lady. I personally like the look she has on. It's very savage, it's very, you know, wild. Mm -hmm. It shows off her beautiful curves. But for th this whole, the whole thing, and then with the paper bananas, girl, no. Mm -hmm. It's a boot. Yeah, so it's a boot. Banana boot. Banana boot. Nina Bonina Brown. Nina Bonina Brown is next. Uh, and she has come up with a character called Zafina and a sidekick called Ink. Ink. This is cool. I fucking love it. Yeah! It has a lot of whimsy to it, and it, it, there's a lot of imagination to it. Ink Work looks it beautiful. Uh -huh. I think ink looks gorgeous, actually. I just don't really care for the fit of the bodysuit. Hmm. It's a little, it's kind of baggy in, in spots, is mm -hmm. it not? Do you not see that? Like, especially yeah, right around like crotch area. Sure. Looks like it could be just a little tighter. I mean, your Athena, your Princess Athena, I'm sure it's supposed to be probably fitted a little better. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you're a fucking alien, bitch. But for the most part, the whole thing toot. is a toot. It looks really cool. Peppermint, Princess Carcino Janetta, and her sidekick's name is Petey the Pilot. I think Peppermint looks fucking great. I agree. She looks like a dark princess. Mm. It's still, to me, very, it, I see a crown, I mm -hmm. see shape, I see costume. She looks like she would come from royalty. I love the contrast, I love the two characters. Like, Petey the pilot seems like some a character that might kind of ease Carcinogenetta. Carcinogenetta. He talks her off the ledge. Okay. He's one of them. I like it. I think I think I can see the story just visually looking at it. I can see what's going on, and uh, and the costume itself is executed really, really beautifully. And I think that peppermint deserves a toot. A fucking toot, bitch. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Next we have Sasha Valour, and Sasha is Princess Aglina and Lump, her sidekick. This is obscure, it's a little strange. I do like the lump more than I like the princess. Is yeah. That, isn't that weird? Like the no. sidekick is a lot cooler and has like a very sidekick presence, but I think that the princess is a little bit cheap. It's cool that she has a fucking bird cage on her head. Mm -hmm. It's cool that she's walking with like the bird on her hand instead mm -hmm. of it being caged. Mm -hmm. And she's Princess Aglina, but she doesn't really look ugly. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that she's got a unibrow is supposed to be ugly. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't mm -hmm. get it. Yeah. The, and the, to me, the dress, it just looks like she's got kind of a, a silvery white sheath on it's with- a sack. Yeah. And I am all down for using accessories to dress something up- Oh, and make me an, too. And take it there, even a, a, even a fucking bed sheet. But I'm telling you right now that the, the, the accessories and the Princess Aglina look are not strong enough to carry the fact that this dress is basic and it needs more. But overall, I mean, like the lump is cute. So, what do I say? Do I toot it or boot it? I don't know. It's just—it's not completely bootable. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and toot this, but not enthusiastic toot. Um, mm -hmm. I give it a boot. I don't like it. I don't care for it. It's a boot. Next we have Shea Coulee as Aquaria. Now, this type of a dress that has that 
skirt coming from the knee down, I live for. That live, is, live, live. that's not an afterthought, It's that's the statement of the fucking dress, bitch. Mm -hmm. She is from the ocean, she yes. looks like she's emerging from the ocean, she looks like she's a mermaid, something, 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 the whole thing actually gives me fantasy. This is what I want to see in a challenge like this. Her psychic's name was Moon Pearl. Moon Pearl. Moon Pearl. And Moon Pearl's cute. I think Moon, yeah. Pearl, Moon Pearl is the direct uh, contrast of what Aquaria is. I love this it. This is the dawning of the age of Aquaria, bitch. Bitch, I give this a two. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Toot. I give her a toot. I give her a toot as well. <laughs> a lucky charms toot. Oh, lucky charms. Trinity Taylor. Princess Aqua Pussy and Stinky the Starfish. So a lot of queens wanted to be princesses of the sea. I think if there were three princesses of the sea or the ocean, okay. this one here looks like she is a little more fun, mm. a little more fashion forward. Mm -hmm. She again has that little- Because who doesn't love a fashion forward princess? I live for a fashion forward princess, especially a fashion forward queen. And Stanky the Starfish, come on bitch. Adorable. It's fucking, fucking adorable. So good. Yes. The body looks amazing. The gradation of the color of the blue in the fabric, the gold. The headdress is really cool because it adds a lot of whimsy. And I love Stanky the Starfish. I think the pairing is perfect and I love them both. And I think they look super adorable. That's a two. Two. And next we have Valentina. She is Princess Vera and her sidekick, Nevi. Nevi. Valentina as Vera looks stunning, per usual. I think she looks beautiful. And I also love Nevi. I think Nevi, the paint on her is really amazing. Gore. Yeah. Yes. But I'm shocked that if this was a princess challenge, that uh, that Valentina would be so bare-legged. I thought she would really take this opportunity and add like volume, a hoop or something, because she seems very well, much like that type of girl. And it looks like she tried to add volume with just kind of tufts of tulle on mm -hmm. the side. Mm -hmm. But at, I think this screams a little more princess than some of the others I've seen. Mm -hmm. She's got the the ringlets, kind of Marie Antoinette-ish hair. Mm -hmm. But I really love Nevi. I think Nevi's. That's the most successful part of this. And I, yeah. isn't that funny that a lot of the sidekicks are a lot more interesting than the princesses themselves, which I find really crazy. Yeah. Vera is still very beautiful and she looks lovely. And again, it's one of those toots that I'm gonna give very unenthusiastically because I think it's, this is like one of those times where I'm like, really girl? And I feel like that with the majority of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a toot because I, it's not bad. It's more tootable than it is bootable. Yes. I'll give it a toot. Two. Next we have Eureka. And she is Princess Eureka of Diarrhea. No, Eureka, Eureka of Daria. Daria. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking of you. And her sidekick, Rough Trade. Rough Trade. This is a bravo for me. Yeah? Yes. Do you know why, first of all, the name works? A lot of these girls try to be funny and they're actually not funny. The scruffy bulldog as opposed to like the glamorous princess. I love this. I think this is a success. I think, I think you really get to see um, Eureka sense of humor and how good it is. I love that she has a crown. Mm -hmm. I love that she has a train. Length. I yes. love that she has jewels. Yes. I love that it's very opulent. Yes. I love that. Now, the hair thing, yes. I'm guessing oh. this is her thing, is that type of hair. Yeah. But with this, it doesn't look like an afterthought or, or something she was like, oh, I need to put hair on. Mm -hmm. It looks like she thought this all out. Mm -hmm. And Rough Trade looks great. I mm -hmm. love some Rough mm -hmm. Trade. Rough, rough Trade. trade. <laughs> See, that's even funny too. That's so cute. I mean like, Banana Lady and Funky Monkey. I know. Come on, like this I This know. is funny. That, that, that wasn't funny. So I'm gonna give this a two. Okay, like Trend Alert. Alert! Sidekicks. Sidekicks. Kicks on the side. Not the razor. The sidekick. sidekick. Flip phone. Sidekick, Motorola sidekick. Friends. <laughs> what more is there to say about sidekicks? I don't fucking know. Sidekick. Sidekick. Our, Our top two of the week, week is Charlie Hyde. Yes, Charlie. Work with looking gorgeous, looking like hunt, looking like fish, looking like a princess, looking like fish, looking like foil, looking like gold, looking like a princess with things popping on her head, looking like this, yeah, 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 looking like. <laughs> Charlie Hyde. Charlie Hyde. <laughs> Charlie Hyde. Heads. <laughs> Charlie Hyde. Charlie Hyde. <laughs> Tune into VH1 8 p.m. every Friday for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9.
Make sure you tune in every Saturday to WOW Presents and check out RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked. Don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do the. Oh. I must be on my period today.